Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl, Miss Philly. Uh, we went thrifting today. <laughs> we went thrifting today. But first, before we start the video, I would like to thank Vanity Bay for woo, sending me these nails. They sent me three sets of nails. Hey guys, I just wanted to give a shout out to Vanity Bay. They sent me these nails. I'm really excited to try them. I mean, look at my nails. They're looking like a ratchet mess. But we got the blue color the light pink and the more hot pink. Um, I was a little bit worried because I'm like, how am I supposed to put these on? But they actually come with the glue and the glue tab. So it's like a nice little compact set. Also has the instructions on the back. So because it's fall, I might go with this, but I don't know. I really like this color. I don't know. I feel like this is more of a neutral. Thank you Vanity Bay for the amazing nails. I can't wait to show people. Um, what they look like on. Uh, they made me choose. I couldn't, I've had, I've worn this color before, hence why I picked it. I know it's not as fall color, but um, they're press on nails. And I've never in my whole life have used a press on nails, but using them, okay. I use them and then I took them off and then I reuse them. So um, they don't look as great, but I still think they look fantabulous. But these are a second round use. So easy to apply. It comes with either a glue or a sticker. I personally like the glue. And they're actually easy to come off as well. So I did pop one nail earlier. So I went to Dollar uh, Dollarama and got some crazy glue. So I keep that as backup in my car in case they pop off. But I haven't had an issue since. And I love them. What do you guys think? I love the shape. They have different shapes, a ton of different colors, and I thought they wouldn't work for my nail because, you know, I have like a big finger and nail beds, but these ones worked for me. I just picked randomly and they worked and I love them. I can't wait to try the other colors and yeah, I feel like, I, I can't remember how long they last, but I'm thinking they could last at least a month or maybe like six weeks or even maybe more. But I love them like this i would literally spend my money on this imagine all the times where i was spending um a hundred dollars to get acrylics or gel nails no no oh never happening again these are great alternatives like i'll still get them maybe like i haven't had gel nails in a while but i am really satisfied satisfied with these they look great they feel great they look great and they're cost effective so much more cheaper I was spending, yeah, like about $80 to $100 depending on nail design. And I would have to get them refilled like every four to six weeks. Mm -mm, you know how much these are? $18. $18. And not only do you get this set, there's like a ton of other um, backups. So you could actually prolong the set for more than a month. So you're, you're saving so much money. And because... Vanity Bay is amazing. They gave me a 30% off code to use to anybody who wants to get their nails did. Um, I'll leave the link on the down bar below. So you get 30% off the price. I believe this set that I'm using is $18 Canadian. So it's probably cheaper for the US. Um, but yeah, I am so happy with this. I picked another color too. I have a lighter baby pink and then I have like a more kind of like seductive hot pink <laughs> but so excited i love these so much thank you vanity bay for these amazing nails i love them and they're surprisingly comfortable to use despite the length i actually um trimmed them a little little bit like i well not trimmed i filed it down a bit so these are filed down and they fit really well on my nail bed and they're just amazing guys amazing oh, i am so satisfied with these nails <laughs> and we don't have to sit and you know what you know what okay i tried these on over the weekend because i got these nails last week tried them on over the weekend wore, wore them for a couple days and then i was just kind of like busy doing stuff around the house so i wanted to take them off to make my job easier so i took them off um and then on today's tuesday so choose today's wednesday so wednesday i literally popped them on right after the shower i used an alcohol swab cleaned my fingernails and then literally put glue 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 pop 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 easy peasy you just put the glue on hold it for like 20 seconds that you're done and it affixes to your nail i am so satisfied with these and um i cannot say anything bad about the company i love i love the product a lot 
two thumbs up, definitely. Good morning, guys. We are in the purse section at Value Village. We kind of, we didn't hit up this section first. We hit up the furniture section, but there was nothing. I feel like at this location, not a lot of people hit up the purse section first, which works to our benefit. What's this? That's cute. What is it, sellable? <laughs> Ew, $30 for this piece of crap? Gross. I don't see anything. Is Chanel? No. Stella McCartney? Aldo. <laughs> Bottega? No. Okay, well the music is blasting like a mofo, so... And this side is kind of boring, so... I'll see you guys in a bit. I guess we found these. I do use these a lot. Oh, they have a Too Faced palette. It looks barely used, but barely used is still used. This bag is from 2009. I kind of like this style. I love the color too. It's just kind of cute. A little overpriced though. I have a few MK pieces here like this. <clears throat> 20 bucks, but it's super dirty inside. I'm kind of in love with this, like the gold foiling for 20 bucks. It's not too crazy. I don't know, it's kind of cute though. I'm gonna hold on to it, maybe. It's a possibility. I saw a coach over here. I think this is fake. This is a horrendous fake. Let's look on the other side. Mm, nothing really. How are you feeling? Still hurts? Oh, yeah, it still feels like Poor Daniel got stung by a wasp. First time ever, though. I've never got stung it was by bad. a wasp. It was on his head. In my hair. You watched it unfold, so. <laughs> I wanted to buy this, but the resale on it isn't even that good. Like 50 bucks. And they want the manufacture date March 2004. They want 20 bucks for it. I want you to go around. I want to show you a couple of things that we picked up. Not that it's freaking interesting, but I like to share everything with you guys. I picked up this Avino Repairing Psyche hand mask. I've used their foot uh, foot masks, and I really like them a lot. So I thought I'd try this two single use gloves so you have one pair in this four dollars avino is an expensive brand so four dollars at dollarama why is everything at dollarama not even a dollar anymore everything there's things that are like five dollars six dollars should they even be called dollar anymore um and then we picked up only because i'm out i do have a dishwasher so i use that but normally the the dishwashing liquid that i like to use when i'm just washing by hand is the non-chemical one but nobody has time like i haven't ordered it it's going to take like a couple days to order it so i thought i'd just use this which probably isn't the healthiest probably chock full of chemicals but we need clean dishes anyway i, I got it i'll probably dilute it so it's not as freaking like chemical ridden and then we bought some nail files because we're going to be starting to wear nails all the time so we might want to file a nail here and there dollar 25 for that 
And I got my dog a ton of treats. Okay, so I tried to look on Amazon to see if this was cheaper. It really isn't. It's not really that much cheaper. This is $350 for 100 grams. I think on Amazon, it's like 600 grams for like $16 or something like that. I just know when I calculated in my head, it wasn't a deal. So we got one. This is his favorite. One, two. Um, is that all that we got? One, two. Okay, we got two of these, the chicken tenders with natural ingredients. Now I don't know if that has chemicals in it because, so it's basically chicken, soy protein, glycerin, salt, sorbitol. So I guess it's kind of natural. He also likes, likes these Purina bacon strips with bacon. Now, did they, so it's pork, barley, rice, ground wheat, oatmeal, soybean, glycerin, sugar, corn gluten. It, it, it even is bacon. It does say no artificial flavors and no FDC colors, but does it have phthalates? Does it have glucose? Because those aren't good shit. Anyway, we got that. Um, and also these are his favorite too. Chicken flavor oven baked kebabs. He likes these a lot too. Um, what are the ingredients for this? Rawhide chicken glycerin sorbitol wheat flour. Potassium sorbate for a preservative. I don't know. I might have to start giving my dog organic shit because he eats these a lot as a treat. And I want don't want him to get, you know, sick or get like cancer or get some, you know, shit where his life will end abruptly because you're feeding your dog shit. I feel like the best one is this one, the chicken tenders. Less, uh, less <laughs> chemicals, chemicals, not chemical. Yeah, yeah, less chemicals, less ingredients. So. We got that. Um, and then I got this from Dollar Dollar Tree as well. Lint, Lindor. Lindor by Lint. I like this a lot. Uh, so that's all we got. We got from Dollarama. And then we went thrifting. Everywhere you go, you have to bring your own bag. So we went thrifting. I bought, because I haven't had a... A uh, reef on my apartment door since I want to say Easter. Yeah, because Christmas I had a Christmas reef. Reef, 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 reef. <laughs> Sorry, reef is like reef for weed. Reef, reef. Okay, so I had a Christmas reef. I had a New Year's reef. I had a Valentine's reef. I had a thanks. No, I didn't have a Thanksgiving reef. No, I didn't. I had a Valentine's wreath. Okay. Christmas, New Year's, Valentine's. After Valentine's was Easter. So I, I haven't had a wreath since Easter. I didn't have one for Canada Day because I couldn't find a Canada Day wreath. And But now we have a... Ah! Fall slash Thanksgiving slash Halloween wreath. This was a little bit more expensive. It was a freaking $13. They had one that was $10, but it wasn't as jajuge, you know? Um, it has these, what the hell are these called? I don't know what the hell are these called. These little berry things. And it has the pumpkins and the leaves. I like it. It's very festive for um, Thanksgiving transition into uh, Halloween. So, because of the pumpkins. Pumpkins. I like to say pumpkin, but it's pumpkins. Oh, sorry, I got one more thing from Dollarama. Okay, I have a story behind this. I've been trying to look for a Disney piglet stuffed animal. I could not find one at any thrift store because my dog, Loki, likes to take my uh, piglet uh, stuffed animal. And there's sentimental value to that. But he keeps taking it. I'll place it on the table, somehow he'll take it. Hide it under the, hide it under the, the pillow, he'll take it. So <coughs> I'm trying to find a disney piglet so this one i found it's close it's the closest to the disney piglet that i have it's pink and it's a pig so i'm hoping his senses will think that this is a toy that he likes and he'll get it until i can find an actual piglet at the thrift store so that was four dollars and then okay i picked these up actually it's been kind of like a fall kind of a thrift day because i have the wreath, I have the, what else is folly? Well, the wreath, this is also folly, this stuff. Glade plugins, um, apple of my pie. So it's very like folly. 
Can you believe summer's over? Like, freaking summer came and went. And I literally did nothing, did nobody. I did nothing and did nobody. So it wasn't even fun at all. I had a chance to go to Mexico again, but I didn't go. I should have went to Mexico again. Because the person that went is having a mother freaking good time. And our butler remembered me. <sighs> but I just could not go to Mexico because I feel like a fat whale. I'm going to be so uncomfortable in the seats of the airplane. I'm going to like spill over to the person sitting beside me. I'm going to feel, I'm going to have to get a seat extender. I can't put down the, there's just so much. And then because Mexico is so hot, I don't even have anything that will fit. My bathing suit from last time I went doesn't fit anymore. I have no clothes. It was just a whole, or, whole ordeal. So I missed out on a trip to Mexico because I feel so uncomfortable with how I look and how I feel that that ha happened. Yeah. And I'll be honest, when I went to Mexico, it was the best time of my life. I've never had so much more fun. I've never felt such an experience that when I went to Mexico back in uh, September 2021, it, ha it was the best experience I've ever experienced. Like something big would have to top that. It was just a, on a different level. Anyway, I had the opportunity to go this uh, year again and I didn't because we look in like this. $2.99 for, so $3 for three. So that's $9 less a $2 off coupon. These are pretty, these, I think these are like five, six dollars each at the regular store. We like our place smelling nice. Couple more thingajigs. Okay, we got this. I thought this was a different brand than I thought it was, but it wasn't. So, but it was six dollars. Um, they sell this at Winners because there's a Winners tag on it. But it's funny because they just marked it two dollars left less than where they sell it at the store. So normally this would sell for 20, Winners had it for eight, and then the thrift store had it for six. Thrift store should be at least 50% off. Anyway, it's an eye cream uh, made in Canada from Elizabeth Grant. So 24 hour eye smoothing cream. We got that. Okay. Next, we got this. I really like this a lot, actually. It is the Coach Poppy Plaid Pink Pastel um, Wristlet. Limited edition. Um, I like it a lot. It was $10.79 minus uh, $2 off. But it's in great condition overall. Even inside is super clean. But somebody left a hair tie. Ew, personified. But there's the inside. It has a hang tag. It's really cute. There's no wear on the glazing of it, which I like. And yeah, it's a really cute wristlet, guys. Really cute. Very Charlotte from Sex in the City. <laughs> so we got that. And then this. I'm kind of excited for this a bit. Um, you'll probably recognize the pattern. Probably faux, but I mean, yeah, most likely faux. But I got it because this is real leather and it feels so smooth and soft. Um... The chain is just a chain, but I know this pattern. I recognize it when I saw it. And then when I felt it, I'm like, that's something. Anyway, when you open it up, deal. It's really nice. It's cute. It has like a three card slot inside and it's lined in like this thick fabric. So I decided to just pop on it because it's really good, like quality. And even like this is super soft leather, like, the leather is really good. It's a cute little like crossbody with the chain. Like crossbody. You can even take the chain off and just put on any kind of um, strap that you want. But I thought that was cool. And that was like $7.50. So. Hey guys, I forgot to mention I found this vintage like sewing box. It reminds me of like a bingo roller bread box kind of thing. It came, it was only $14. Uh, it came complete with the insert there. I think it's from the 1950s. And when I looked online, they were going for like a lot of money. Some of them are like $700. Here's one for 250 to 300 euros. And this one was the most expensive one, $1,400. It's the exact one that I have. The last thing that we got was burb. Uh-huh. Burb. 
<laughs> it sounded cringe. Anyway, a Burberry scarf. I love this gray color. It is unisex. Could be a guy. Could be a girl. Could be a non-binary. Could be transgender. Could be, um, I don't know, anything. It could be an, you could wrap it around your dog for all I care. Anyway, it's Burberry, 100% cashmere, made in England, dry clean only. Part of the, see, this is why, look, this, the stitching is, I need to kind of like cut this a bit, but the stitching is like coming off. Hold on. I've always told, I've always told you guys multiple times before that these Burberry scarves, they're so prone to the label falling off that kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Clean that threading up. There we go. Okay. <sighs> there we go. Burberry, London, 100% cashmere, made in England, dry clean only. And it was only freaking $7. I love this scarf. It's it's a little bit, yeah, it's the long kind. It's the long kind. So it's, you could wrap it around like easily like that. There you go. What's up? Hello. Hi, sir. <laughs> anyway, it's cute. Such a deal on this. I, it's funny because I have a collection of Burberry scarves going on. I should, I should add it to the end of the video. Um, there isn't any, the good thing about this, it's almost like, okay, there's like black, there's gray, there's is that pink or blue i don't even know what color that is some color blind but i love the color palette of it it's just so nice but yeah anyway that's all that we got guys we had to cut our trip we didn't we weren't able to film with daniel much because daniel got stung by a wasp yes daniel was in the car we were in drive through at mcdonald's yes we had bitch had mcdonald's and he's like ashley there's something in my hair so i go to look through his hair like this and he's like ah he got stung by a wasp and it, he's never been stung by a wasp before you know daniel he can be a little you know, you know sensitive <laughs> so um when i looked at it it looked like a freaking have you ever gotten a boil and then it pops and it's just kind of like red around and there's like a there's a thing in the middle like a red dot in the middle that's what it looked like but he was in pain and we did everything that we can to alleviate it like um i we at mcdonald's i asked for a cup of ice i told him to ice it and then I drove to Dollarama and I bought Tylenol and Advil. And first he took the Tylenol because I know that when I got my boobs done and I was in pain that they gave me Tylenol. So I figured Tylenol for pain. But for me, what usually works for pain is Advil, but we went with the Tylenol. Was it really working or alleviating the pain? So two hours later, he took an Advil and I don't know if it's working. So I hope he feels better. Poor Daniel, because it was not a good time. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I appreciate it. Thank you for taking the time to watch. Thank you for subscribing to the members. Thank you so much for being a member of my channel. I appreciate it. I love you. I love you all. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.